What are you doing? From the moment you were born, there are voices telling you what is and what is not, what is true and what are lies, defining the parameters of the real world. This self-perpetuating, never-ending limit on thought and actions can only end if you free your mind. This is the Free Your Mind Show with Moose Girl and Grimnir. Sit back and listen and see your way beyond the world as it has been defined. Yeah, do that. Sit back and listen in. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna tell you about some stuff today here. Yeah man. Uh, I, I'm Grimnir and my lovely co host is Moose Girl. Moose Girl. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say that. That sounds really scary, Grim. <laughs> <laughs> Good, it should. It should. The opening. Uh, I'm, I'm glad to know that. Anyway, this is episode <laughs> three of the Free Your Mind show. Uh, and the, the, the title of today's show is Existentialist Mumbo Jumbo. Um, hey. <laughs> and we we're talking a little bit about existentialism as much as I know about it, which really isn't that much. I, I I was never a big Sartre fan or Sartre. How do you say his name? I think it's Sartre, but or Sartre. I don't know. Sartre. Yeah. Anyway, and that guy. Sartre. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, and, and uh, in that uh, that uh, what, what's that other person? Um, uh, uh, I, I forget. Bouvier, Bouvier, something uh, like yeah. that. Yeah. Anyway. Um. So. Uh, yeah. So that's what we're going to talk about. Now we didn't do existential. <laughs> that's not even a word, man. All right. Um, no, that's not. That's not how you spell it, man. The thing. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I will put it in there. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, it won't let me. Anyway, we didn't do a show last week. I w- it won't let you. No, it didn't let me copy it at first. Uh, oh, okay. But... All right. Uh, so we didn't do a show last week. I had a I had a computer thing going on, and uh, and so uh, yeah, so we didn't do a show last week, or else this would be episode four, but it's not. Um, right. <laughs> oh man. So uh, yeah, let me make sure everybody knows that we're actually on here because uh, I see some other stuff going on. So uh, a- anyway, there's that. Um, so I- I've been reading about this over the past w- week or so uh, about existentialism, mm-hmm. um, and and I would be considered maybe. A partial existentialist, mm-hmm. um, uh, not 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 a full on existentialist, that's for sure. Um, uh, leading leading far more towards the nihilist uh, end of things, although there's some overlap there um, in that. So um, uh, let me uh, let me just read to you uh, a definition that I pulled up uh, on the okay. inter- interwebs of what existentialism is. It's a noun, okay. a, a noun, uh, the, this particular noun in the philosophy category. There's other nouns that are, define it slightly different ways. Anyway, a philosophical theory or attitude having various interpretations, generally emphasizing the existence of the individual as a unique agent with free will and responsibility for his or her own acts. Great. I'm all good with that so far. Uh, though living in a universe devoid of any certain knowledge of right and wrong. Mm, yeah, a little, 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 still hanging with you, but a little bit less. From one's plight as a free agent with uncertain guidelines may arise feelings of anguish. See, I, I don't have those feelings of anguish. Existential, right. Existentialism is concerned more with concrete existence rather than abstract theories of essences. And there you lost me. Uh, is contrasted with rationalism and empiricism and is associated with Kierkegaard, Heidegger, and Sartre, as well as others. So I'm partially there, um, uh, you know, because I mm-hmm. abs- absolutely um, emphasize and believe and uh, follow, I guess, uh, not really uh, by any uh, method, just just the way it is. I think these things. Uh, uh, the existence of the individual as a unique agent with free will and responsibility for his or her own acts. Her own acts. 
One hundred percent. One hundred percent there. Um, so, uh, though living devoid of any certain knowledge of right and wrong, you see that that yeah. I, I, I got a little problem with that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, so I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm partially into the uh, things they use as as uh, existentialism, and partially not. Um, but we have other we have other stuff about it. But uh, yeah, uh, what uh, what what would be your your take on this? Um, uh, existentialist uh, ideals, concepts, theories. I mean, I agree with some of it, you know. Um, uh, let's see here. It says here that it's a philosophy and a mindset that emphasizes human freedom and responsibility. Yeah, see, I'm 100% there on that. Right, and they... Ex- ex- I can't say existentialist. Okay, there I said it. Existentialist. Existentialist. As existentialist, posit that life has no predetermined meaning, so it's up to the individuals to create their own meaning. Absolutely, I, I'm there on that. I, I, I'm on. I'm on board with that. Sure, sure. Uh, it says here that the history of the movement. Um, it, it's a philosophical movement grounded in a particular historical content context and transferring its tenets to today's cultural moment means understanding what is meant when it's developed. It developed and flourished in Europe during the 1940s and 50s in a post-war context in which many people felt disillusioned with organized religion and society and felt like life had no real meaning or purpose. That's just, that's the history. Right. Well, and I, you know, I'm, I'm pretty much there on that because uh, that that kind of goes towards my nihilistic leanings. Um. <laughs> right. But it says here, further down, that it's not the same. No, no, it's definitely not the same. Um, Remember, existential, existentialism and is not the same as nihilism. Nihilism states there is no purpose to life and there never can be, whereas existential, ex, as existentialism says you make your own. Which... Like I said, there's some overlap going on. Uh, right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, um, uh, <laughs> to me, uh, the, the whole, uh, you, you know, um, there, there's a lot of different philosophies or whatever you want to call them that I buy into partially. Uh, you know, Buddhism or Hinduism. Um Mm-hmm. I, I'm right. kind of on board with those, but when you get into some of the real guts of uh, those things, then they go off in directions that I, I am uh, not real comfortable with. Um, but but the overall the the big tenets of of these things, mm-hmm. I'm I'm pretty much there. Um, yeah, I yeah. think it's it's kind of deep. It's it's really deep. I mean, you could go really deep on this subject. It's a phil- it's philosophy. It's philosophy. And yeah. it, philosophy is, you know, everyone understands certain things in a different way or whatever. I mean, it's so philosophical that it's kind of actually hard to talk about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Because you're like, what the hell, what is it? You know, it's just like a way of thinking, I guess. Right, yeah. It, 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 it uh, well, I, I mean, <laughs> it, it goes perfectly with, with the, uh, you know, this the title of this show here, Free Your Mind. Um, yep, Mumble Jumbo. Oh, well, no, 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 Mumble oh, Jumbo. Okay. Oh. That's just, that's just the episode. Uh, I, oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> the overall title of the show, Free Your Mind. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, existentialist Mumbo Jumbo. I, I put that in there because, you know, a lot of people read that and they go, well, what are these people talking about? You know, that, that there's, uh, you know, no real course or structure or design or purpose. Um, which, right. See, in that, in that, and I go along with a lot of that, that there isn't actual, an actual preset, determined uh, path that you're following and that you, as an individual, um, create your your own path, your own future, your own truth. Right. Um, uh, generated out, out of your own mind. Um, but, of course, then, when you do 
say, okay, this is my my direction that I need to go. This is this is the things that I mm-hmm. believe in. Then also back to the existentialist views opinions is is that you will take the consequences of those, the, the responsibility for those, good mm-hmm. or bad, whatever that may be. Um, but you will shape your own world uh, based upon uh, the things you believe, the things you do, and the things you say. Uh, a bit less to the things you say, um, <laughs> because people say stuff, you know, and people are always right. saying, saying stuff, and they may say the exact opposite tomorrow. But what, right. and, and, and that's no big deal. Uh, generally speaking, depending, you know, in this total cancel culture world that we're living in, there's a, a little bit uh, right. uh, more of a consequence. Uh, but the actions that you took, um, and some people might consider words as actions, but I, I really don't. Um, because, because unless you back up those words with actual actions, uh, then the words were hollow and meaningless. And, yeah. Uh, you know, purposeless. So, uh <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you're, you're, people, you know, looking at the world, looking at various things going on uh, and, and the importance they lay upon certain various, you know, just take the world today, uh, whether it's, you know, uh, the Corona Bologna nonsense, the lockdowns, the vaccines, uh, the crap going on at the border at, right now this week today. Um, yep. and, and people have very strong feelings and will take strong actions about the things that they they think and believe, um, uh, you know, for example, the, you know, the ones that'll call you out for not wearing a mask or talking badly about vaccines, um, which, by the way, I, I have some sad news. Um, sad, okay. <laughs> I guess I don't know. Maybe it's not sad yet. I don't know. My friend Jeannie, I've talked about her her right here. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, not not this show, but other shows several times. Right. Uh, anyway, uh, she has, she has decided to get the vaccination. Okay. And I was talking to her. I was talking to her yesterday, and she uh-huh. said, and she's like, you know, she knows me, and she knows what I think about a vaccina- right. vaccinations as a whole, uh-huh. and and so she prefaced it with, "I'm very excited about this. I really want this." And so uh-huh. I I okay. you know, like I said, I I have nothing more to add. To the things I've said to her in the past, right? Uh, and 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 she, you know, at least seemingly was believing uh, or agreeing with uh, the things that I'd been telling her about the vaccinations, um, right? And uh, and so the only thing I added to her yesterday, because this is uh-huh. a different kind of quote vaccination unquote. Uh, it's is, not a vaccine. I believe it's uh, not a vaccine. Right, but. right. Of course, but that and so that's why I added. This shot will modify your DNA. Yeah. And she's, well, that's all right. My DNA is not very good in the first place. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God. What? <laughs> that's okay. what she That's what she said. And, and you know, I, I can understand from all the fear and scare tactics being used. And the peer pressure, dude. Well, and that, and that, and, and, but, you know, she's had cancer. And, and, and yeah, I wouldn't be chancing it. And, I and, just don't and, know what it is, and so, I yeah. You know, but but since she survived the cancer and a lot of the fear talk over people that have had cancer, that you know that this Corona will kill you if you had cancer. Um, yeah, me too, Kate. Uh, Kate said she's happy her cancer's not recurring. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I, I'm glad about yeah. that. So um, anyway, so. So people will, like I said, they'll they'll take um, uh, you know strong actions based upon their their thoughts and beliefs and how much they they think what's going on here in this uh, three dimensional physical world uh, actually affects things in the long run. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, thanks, Kate. Yeah, she's she's fine. Um, she 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 survived the freaking cancer, man, and she was at a stage four. Uh, so. Yeah, uh, you know that's what they told her, and they gave her treatments. Of course, uh, she 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 did uh, do the weed that I instructed her or told her was a good idea. Uh, she did do the baking soda, which I strongly mm-hmm. suggested as well, and she did do the Rick Simpson oil. So uh, she good. she did a lot of the right things, which could counteract the nasty chemical uh, stuff that they were doing to her. Um, and, you right. know, she lost all of her hair, but it's all back now. And, uh, uh-huh. yeah, you know, she's doing fine. You know, they got a new Good. dog. 
Hooper. And uh, so, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I didn't really yeah. want to get too far off onto that. I was just throwing that in there as talking about people's actions. But, uh, yeah, you know, like you, you see all these people all up in arms over all this bad stuff happening at the border. Um, yeah. And, well, just then 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 fix it don't i I mean why why is all that bad stuff going on they don't know what to do yeah, well, about I, that <laughs> they don't they're overwhelmed well because they they set up a trap and then yeah and then and then then all of the little whatever rodents um were were drawn to the bait there uh and they're and they're still being drawn that's and strongly regardless of what's going on there um and and yeah. that's, that, that's just one thing you know. Um, right. Of course, you know, there's all this other stuff. Uh, like, like, you know, yeah. like, like I said, those people that just get so upset when, when you're out in public and you're not wearing what, the thing across your face, which... I, no one has ever said a word to me about it. Like, well, no they, one's come up to my grill and said, why aren't you wearing a mask? Well, and they, I they, mean, they, they, I've got some sideways looks, but no one's ever... Fuck, I, I'm just... I go with the mindset, like, I dare you to fucking say something to me, you yeah, know? No, and, and nobody's ever said anything to me here, either. Other right. other other than the one time, and it wasn't about me not wearing a mask, uh, but when I was at the post office... And 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 the old guy fell down, and I and I grabbed right. him and picked him up, and I told him, "Hey, you got to take that mask off." They say the 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 post office lady said, "Oh no no, he has to have the mask." So <laughs> and it was like he's not able to breathe. Look at him. Right. <laughs> so so they never said anything to me about not having the mask, but they said something to me about telling somebody else to get rid of the right. mask. <laughs> so <laughs> um, yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, and, and I do, I do when I go into the grocery store, I put one on in there, um, just because they have a big sign right in front of the door, big old sign, handwritten, the governor says, we have to do this or we'll be fined, if you don't have one, we'll give you one, and so I, I said, all right, give me one, <laughs> anyway, so whatever, um, so, so I, I, I'll, I'll do it, because I don't want my grocery store fined, um, right, I like Wait, are they actually finding people there, finding businesses they, there? They, are they, they, are they, they patrolling the, the grocery stores and going in there? I, I don't know, but but I've heard stories on the news where this company got fined or that company got fined uh, for not enforcing some kind of mask bullcrap. Um, yeah, yeah, so whatever. So, yeah, I mean, uh, New Mexico is still pretty much on full lockdown. Uh, and I right. know it's far different than other states, like directly to our south. In Texas, um, no, not nothing. They got, they got nothing. There's no, there's no six feet. There's no anything. Right. You know, no, there's nobody stopping people from wearing masks should they want to. Um, but uh, uh, you know, they, they, and and I, and stores can still have uh, the Corona, you know, whatever social distancing crap if they want. Um, that that's totally up to them. Um, uh, but and so you can't go into that store unless you follow the store's rules. But uh, it's, mm -hmm. it's it's not you know um, yeah anyway. So yeah you know uh, anyway you, you could pick anything you know this all this election right. election nonsense that happened. Um, whatever whatever it is in the world wherever it is um, that that you you you're you're. you're and, and you, and by you, I mean everybody in the public, uh, or mm -hmm. not public, just in the world, or call it public because that's a governmental terminology, um, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I try to steer away from as much as possible. Uh, uh, but but uh, because of the masses of them uh, believing and buying into the, the propaganda, um, they allowed for the, uh, you know these these lockdowns and all this stuff to happen, because even if the government said we mandate all this stuff, if nobody did it, it wouldn't have happened. So people did at that point in time create their own realities, create their own, their own truths, uh, and, and their truths were you know reflections of somebody else's truths at that point, of course, because they were being told all this nonsense and and believed in the the uh, truth i guess that they were being told which was not truth but they believed in the truth of the authority 
right. and so they created a reality for the rest of the people within their communities, wherever they were, um, uh, uh, about uh, to, to cause that these kind of things to happen. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know if this happens. This happens to me with this vaccine thing. This, this vaccine, this one. I really actually cringe when I hear people feel happy about getting it and bragging about getting it. I just, I really cringe, dude. I do too. I have a physical reaction to it. Like, it's weird. Like, I don't know. I just, I don't see how people can just blindly trust this thing that they, they're basically testing it on the people that are getting it and they're calling it a vaccine and they know damn well it's not. I called into Clyde, I don't know, Monday or something. And he says, now there's a new one that Johnson and Johnson has made and I trust them not at all either. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so, I mean, even if they say it is a vaccine, even if it is a vaccine, the vaccines aren't good. They haven't been for a long time. I mean, even the polio freaking shot, like we talked about in the other show. Right. Well, it, it, was, it, 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 was, it gave people cancer. Right. Well, and Johnson and Johnson. And they've and, admitted it now. They've and, admitted it. Yeah. Uh, Johnson and Johnson themselves are are responsible for causing uh cancer to many people through their through their baby powder baby powder right yep and, and they just paid a fine they knew what was they're happening they're not trustworthy right well no, none of them are you know they're all you know no but uh, uh so in, anyway um in, in looking at this uh site here called silife.org the spiritual life um uh, and, and th this follows right along to what we were talking about here mm -hmm. um it says that existentialism is a tradition of philosophical inquiry which takes as its starting point the experience of the human subject, not merely the thinking subject, but the acting, feeling, and living human individual. So this this is this goes more far more of course not that they these people weren't or most people aren't thinking subjects. But they are acting, feeling, and living human individuals, and so they create right. uh, they, they they create the the reality around them uh, by by doing the things that they do, uh, whatever you know whatever those may be. Um, uh, sorry, right. I'm distracted there for a second. Uh, anyway, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I yeah, do. like this article I have about the mRNA. And it was the official, like, PDF thing, thing. Right. I don't know what they call it, you know, data sheet or something, a report of some sort. But they're basically, they admitted it in that they are testing it. Because it, from the report, uh, the first test to even start analyzing data won't be until mid-2021. Yeah. And this is from, this is called... The adverse effects of messenger RNA vaccines. Right. And it's right there. Um, and, and, and of course, it's, go ahead. Uh, of course, by by the time they get around to testing it, it'll be too late for the majority of people. They'll be uh, like, "Oops, you got sick. Oops, you got fucked up from it. Oops." Yeah, I mean, because by by mid June, by the time they even get to starting the the study. Billions will have already received, uh, received it. Yeah. So, some form, some form of one of these shots. Right. Um, uh, wh whatever that may be, uh, whether it's one of the you know the three approved, not really approved, um, allowed for U.S. versions, or or any of the ones that are coming out of other countries. China's got their own version. Russia has their own version. Uh, some other countries have their own stuff too. Um, and 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 then some of the uh, stuff that they're uh, doing this testing with, um, that is, or the testing <laughs> experimentation with on the U.S. Mm -hmm. people has has already been banned in, in several other countries. Um, the the AstraZeneca one, uh, a lot of countries have just pulled that straight off. Said nope, this this is causing too much damage to people. Um, and because, right. because the that, one that was giving people blood clots. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the immediate yeah. damage. The immediate damage they the could see. The immediate effects, right? Right. Uh, and and the long term effects, 
Uh, are, are yet to be known. Well, and we're never going to hear about them because they'll lie. No. They'll lie yeah. about it all. Oh, well, I don't know why all of these people are suddenly sterile. Um, right. <laughs> yeah, sure you don't. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, it, it, but, but, I don't know. I, I, it's, well, yeah. But but as as the uh, the, uh, the the topic here, uh, and because there is a lot of mumbo jumbo in, in the whole yeah, uh, in, in, in any philosophy, uh, right. whatever, whatever philosophical ideals uh, you're, you're looking at or concepts, uh, the, yeah. there there is a lot of mumbo jumbo in it, uh, depending on how deep you want to get into it. Um, yeah. Uh, so you can you know take key points of various philosophies. Right. And say, well, that sounds like what I think. That sounds like what I believe. Um, okay, well, here's a list. I have a list. Okay, let's have it. Okay, this is from theguardian.com. Okay. Anyway, um, it, it, scroll to the top. Okay, think big, be free, have sex. Yeah, Ten do reasons those. <laughs> Ten reasons to be an, an existentialist. Existentialist. Okay. Okay. okay uh, one is it as existential. I, I hate this word, by the Ex way. I cannot say this word. Re repeat after me. Existentialism. Ex existentialism. I can say that. It's the existentialist. It's, a, it's a, a, from an M to a T. You know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, they are philosophers of living. Number two, they really care about freedom. Number three. Some have interesting sex lives. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't that apply to everybody? Some of us have. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, as existentialists, tackle painful realities. Uh, as existentialists, try to be authentic. As existentialists, think about think it matters what we do and may stay up all night arguing about it. As existentialists, are not conformists. As existentialists can be fun to read, like books that they've written or watching them, I suppose. Uh, as existentialists also write about unconventional subjects. And number 10, as existentialists think big. Okay. So no, I, not, those things aren't really bad. No, I, I'd say they're anything bad. It's just some things I don't uh, necessarily aren't my way of thinking. But uh, Right. Yeah, I'm but not... I mean, when you point out those parts of it, you you could say, well, interesting sex life that wouldn't be bad. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah, that's 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 true. Of course, in, in, interesting is 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 one of those words. Subjective. Yeah, that's that's one of those words. Yeah, like the old uh, uh, Chinese curse: "May you live in interesting times." Right. Yeah, it's a, it's a is curse. That a good thing or a bad thing? Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, we're certainly living in interesting times, and. Uh, Thanks. Thanks for that. Oh. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, so so those those are the things. Uh, yeah, see, I, I'm not going to stay up all night arguing over stuff people are doing. Cause, right. And because and, and, that, that says that uh, existentialists think that uh, what people uh, do is important, and I'm going to have to, nah, not so much. Um, <laughs> right. Yeah. Cause, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I, as far as tackling painful realities, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I tackle them, tackle them so much as make jokes about them. Uh, a lot of the painful realities that are going on. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess it's a way of just looking at life. Yeah, because, you know, reality is, again, um, configurable. <laughs> Let's put it that way. It's, yeah. Right, just because you, you see something and say, okay, that, that color is blue, that's a reality. Is it? Well, let me shine a different light on it and see what you see. Because that blue may suddenly be green or yellow. Um <laughs> so, so it's not really a reality. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, existentialists think it matters what we do. It may stay up all night arguing about it. 
Nah, that's, I mean, uh, I, I understand that there are people that do that. Uh, we have some here that come in and out. Uh, yeah, is that right? Unless you, well, and because, the, because the color itself is merely a reflection. Uh, so, and, and mm -hmm. it, and, and that color, because yeah, Kate's saying, unless you're colorblind. Uh, so, uh, it, it's, <laughs> so it's, it's a reflection that is modifiable by, uh, other things. So it's, uh, not technically blue. I, I did this uh, drawing course thing one time about mm -hmm. perspectives and how to draw things, you know, from different perspectives to make it look to the viewer uh, as, as it is. Uh, but it, but if you just looked at it as a flat, uh, you know, 3D, 3D type objects, you know. Uh, so if, if you looked at those things that you may see as a ball or a, a table or whatever, you know, you think, okay, that's a rectangular table, but just looking at the drawing, it's certainly not uh, a rectangle that you're drawing in order to make it look like a, rect uh, a rectangular table to the people viewing it. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's a, there's a lot of perspective uh, in in the oops, damn, right. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's a lot of perspective <laughs> in the, the various uh, things that shape and and create your realities. Uh, right. Yeah. 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 I mean, <laughs> like if you said, okay, look at this pen. This is just a pen, but it's also a writing utensil, right? Right. And you could say it could be used for many other things. And you, because it can be used to write words. I mean, I suppose I could poke somebody's eye out with it. Sure. And it could be used as a weapon, but at the end of the day, it's still a freaking pen. It's still a freaking pen. <laughs> you could go around and around saying how it's not a pen or it's something else other than a pen, but you would have to come eventually back to it's a pen. Right. I mean, to me, that's just like common sense and reasoning and why even discuss it you know what i'm saying i do like some people want to like well yeah it's a pen but what are you gonna do with that pen and you know blah blah blah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> dude it's a pen all right <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know this thing over there that's a lamp a light it, it shines light it illuminates an area so i can see better that's what it does and it, it's still a light though it's still a light yep i mean you could go but you could get all crazy and all philosophical and go well it's a light but you could think of the light as a metaphor you know what i mean sure and you're like okay well what about it well it's shining light don't you understand it's illuminating you know okay but it's still a light right you know doing its job if i want real light i'll go outside when it's sunny out okay well right? there, you, there you get into real so uh. <laughs> <laughs> right. real or fake because the lamp light is not real light right well i i don't know that it's not i mean that it, it, it depends on how you define the real um i mean if it's if it's dark and, and you turn a lamp on that's operating properly, uh, then some light will be emitted from that device, and you'll have light. Is it real? I, it allows me to see better. Yeah, like, like it's, you, like, well, like it's you real said. that way, right? But right. It's, it's not man-made light. It's well, it's machine-made light. Yeah, it's not right? natural light. Right, natural light. That's what I meant. Natural okay. light. Okay. So uh, yeah. in this, I mean, have you ever thought, I mean, um, ab about these kind of things? Have you uh, spent time wondering, um, do you think in existential manners or uh, do you have a, a different set of uh, beliefs that you follow? Or um, I don't think I'm an ex as existentialist. I don't think I am one. Okay. If that's what you're asking. Well, yeah, I don't I really... Don't... I just... Like, the golden rule for me, you know, treat others how you want to be treated. 
Okay. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but that's, yeah, that's, uh, I don't uh, know. Yeah. Uh, you know, like I said, when I was reading through it, um, some of these are, are, are my, my beliefs and some are not. Um, right. And, and so, <laughs> uh, but, but I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little more, uh, uh, esoteric, I, I think, than most folks. Yeah. Um, I, I, you know, and, and as I've explained before that I don't, you know, I, I think that none of this stuff that we're here, that we're uh, living through, none of this is, is really real and none of it really matters, um, which kind of takes me down towards the nihilist thing. But I, when I read through mm-hmm. the, the whole nihilist stuff, I'm not one of those exactly either. Um, right. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I, you know, I'm not a doom and gloomer, that's for sure. Um, uh, although I do enjoy the doom and gloom style stuff, uh, which is, right. uh, I guess, different than some people that uh, they they don't uh, they, they they take the doom and gloom and go, oh no, and I go, yeah, let's bring it on, man. Let's have some, let's have some, <laughs> let's have some of that. <laughs> so. Um, so what would uh, what where, what would you say your life's philosophy? Uh, your... I I guess realism. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, like it's a pen. It's a pen. This is a desk. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's not go too far overboard here and like word salad everything to death because you still come back to the same result when you're done discussing it. You know. Right, but you think, and I'm pretty sure you've told me, that you do believe that um, you are just a passenger in, in the in the human skin suit. Yeah. Right, and so you were around well before that, and you'll be around well after that, and and you may inhabit another skin suit at some point. Right. So um, there's a, a little conflict there with uh, those that would consider themselves to be realists that uh, believe you're born through right. a, through a you know this this chemical process uh, you live in, you know as long as your human lives right and and when you die you just de- decay in the dirt or you know whatever whatever happens to you after that uh, but <laughs> yeah. but they but they don't i mean they think this is it one life per human the uh, <laughs> and and that they are the human they believe that they are the person and not the one that's just, you know, riding along right. the person and, and instructing the person on how to do. Um. <laughs> All we know is we live and die. Everything else is just fate. I don't, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know about that one, Vinny. What's, what's Vinny saying? All we know is we live and die. Everything else is just faith. Oh, well. Uh. Faith in what? Oh, yeah. Faith in things you can't necessarily prove, I guess. I guess. I I, I think that's the, uh, uh, the the direction there on that. But but you can take you know these um, these various philosophies, existentialism, right. existentialism, or whichever you prefer, and mm-hmm. and apply it to the world around you, to the things you're you're, you're seeing and, and living in, um, and see how others that obviously well, not obviously but a lot of people don't think too deeply don't they don't they don't go too far right uh be beyond what they're told or what they can uh, see and touch um but but you can and and i i would not say you should but um i i say it might be beneficial to you if you did um uh, uh Try try and comprehend things beyond the physical, uh, be, beyond the three D realm uh, of of the life that we're living here on this little planet in this little solar system in the galaxy in the universe. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's a good, there's a good possibility, a highly strong possibility that none of this actually exists beyond some code in, in, in some operating system somewhere. And uh, that, that all of this that we see, that we can touch and feel, 
is all part of a program. Um, and, and I think we're we're all a mixture of some of them because there's so many like philosophies. You know, you know what I mean. There's so many of them. Sure, sure. That I think what what you said. You know, we all have a little bit of of all of them, and some have more than another or whatever. Right. So. I have a lot of that, Vinny. I have a lot of faith. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of faith that none of this is real. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you're just asleep? Oh, no, 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 no. You're uh, watching a movie? Uh, think, think you're of watching it mo- yourself in a movie? No, no, no. But you could think of it that way. Um, you could think of it in the way of, of like, The Matrix. Um, yeah. Uh, where where all of those people were uh, asleep, but they were living in a world. They they didn't know they were asleep. They're, they're living in a world. Or, or uh, think of it like Avatar. Uh, they Those people knew that they were not. The, the the right right the critter that they were crawling around in or running around in, uh, but that but that they were back in a chamber somewhere, um, yeah you know um, and controlling it mm-hmm. with their with their brain from that space, so uh, you, you could think of it in one of those ways, um, uh, if you wanted to, <laughs> but but more more probably closer to the Matrix. Um, or as Hal says, the Matrix is not a movie. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, I, and I, I think that that would be the, the closest approximation, um, except for the fact that uh, when those people were pulled out of the Matrix, uh, they were still there as as uh, physical three dimensional things. And, you know, some of the, I don't know how far you down into the Matrix you dug. Um, uh, because, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, there was a war between the, the machines and the humans and all that, and the machines won, and then they'd use the humans as batteries to run their thing, but in order uh, to make it so that the humans didn't just die being hooked up to the thing, they created the virtual world because that they realized that humans needed that kind of interaction in order to keep going. Right, uh, right. Uh, so... That would be the separation, because for me, uh, or the way I think is, when you're pulled out of this matrix, that's when you die, um, uh, you're you're not there in, a, in this physical three-dimensional uh, type thing. Your your energy, mm-hmm. your energy, just energy. Um, uh, okay. But you could also, at that you know time, create your own little. Matrix style world uh, to your own liking if you if you desired, um, you know if you if you didn't want to say just float around the universe as pure energy or if you didn't want to jump back into the, this this matrix world, uh, you you could at that point create your own little uh, reality whatever that was in your in your from your energy form and and take part in that. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I told you I'm a bit esoteric on a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, a, a bit. <laughs> right. <laughs> Just slightly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I don't know, man. Sometimes I wonder, you know, just um, about other people. But, <laughs> you know. Yeah. No, I can't do anything about other people. I can only do about me. Yeah, no, I mean, all, all you could do with another person is is you talk to them, and try to reason with them, show them uh, the things that you believe in strongly, what you think, uh, if right. if they're not already on that path, and um, that, that's it, because every, everybody's right. gonna, everybody's going to decide on their own what's what's the the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Um, right. So uh... <laughs> you can't control. The un- I mean, you, you, people try to control you by saying, "Well, right," and and all I, that another thing, but you know, uh, all, all I want them to do is free their minds, right? Free their minds, free your minds. Oh, as, now, uh, uh, and have an open mind. Like Christ's sake, like you aren't done learning ever. You never stop learning. 
And what, what, what was it? I about? have that philosophy that I'm always there's always something I could learn, stand well, to learn or whatever, you know. What was it that Bob Marley said? Um, a man emancipate yourself. yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our minds. There you go. That is absolute 100% unadulterated right. truth. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you know uh, you you can you know try and help people tell people anything you want, but uh, you can't uh, control other people. You can only control you. Yeah. Uh, un- other people, you are you are unable to control them because, you, for one thing, you shouldn't be trying to control somebody. You know. But you do um, have to realize that other people are trying to control you. Right. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of manipulation that goes on. There's a lot of information that comes at everybody at the speed of light. Right. You're you're, you know, you're, you you're being targeted from all sides at all times. Right, right. Um, and it's, you know, it gets to be like, oh, my fucking God. You know what I mean? Like, enough. Stop. Yeah. So, so... Uh, and, I, and I think, I mean, because I don't think we've ever gotten down this far, but... Um, it, if you sink yourself into these, into the minutia of of life here, um, then you're you're not going to be able to free your mind, and you're probably going to be freaking out about all kinds of various things, and and uh, and that's yeah. where, that's where the control part comes in, is mm-hmm. once you allow them to sink their ideas into your head as a truth or as a fact. Or mm-hmm. as a reality, uh, then, then they will be able, since they gave you the initial information, to steer you uh, into the direction of action that they prefer, that they that desire. That they want you to take. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah to their desire. So at yep. that point, at that point, you become uh, less of a free mind, a free individual, and and, and become more of a drone or a clone um, of 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 whatever. Uh, their agenda may be and they can use you at that point and and they they'll be siphoning off uh your energy for their own benefit do you want that no <laughs> no i don't yeah. they need to leave me alone leave me alone yeah but... i can make my own decisions for myself i don't need some authority figure to tell me to do what what to do and what not to do or watch over me or take care of me or I don't need none of that from from them right but but see it is um it's very comforting to have people saying this is what's right this is what's wrong this is what you need to do because at that point you could just shut your head off shut your brain off uh it, it's comforting but it's a false comfort. Yeah. Right. And, and to have somebody else always uh, pulling your strings and uh, holding holding your chain, uh, that means that, that you you are dependent upon them um, for, for whatever right. whatever it is, whatever direction you take. Uh, and, and so if you think, uh, well, can I do this? Uh, then you have to frame it within... The the, the the boundaries of what you've been told are right and wrong and true and false. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I, I just know their history. Like, do people seriously, like, they don't think of the past. They don't think of history. They don't, the biggest thing they don't want to own up to or admit, and I've said this so many times, is that they're being, they don't want to admit they're being lied to, and they've been lied to majorly their whole life. And they just cannot unwrap their mind around, or wrap their mind around that. Right. Well, I think the thing about the history is most mm-hmm. of it is false. It, it, it is, uh, some of, you know, there's truths within it, but most of what you've been told has happened is, is a lie. 
Well, you have to go looking for the truth. You have you. It's not going to come knocking on your freaking door. No, it's not. You have to go look and seeking it out. You have to look up the old stuff. You have to go back, do your own research on everything. Sure, sure. You know, in order to, but most people don't. They don't want to do that. They don't give a shit. They're, you know, they're too wrapped up in their lives, and they just. It's easier just to go along than to get, you know what I mean? Right. For a lot of people. That's what they want to do. They just want to go along. They don't want to ruffle any feathers. They just do what they're told. You know, it's, I don't, I don't understand that, but. Well, like I said, it's the comfort thing. It makes every, everything is, feels right. safe and easy and. But at the same time, Grim, they want us to be afraid. Right. Well, that, that's, that's the they thing. They want us is. to be afraid. And that's, and that's the, one of the big control mechanisms. Yep. Fear. Yeah, fear. There's this deadly disease out there. Oh, yeah, right. That's why there's no biohazard waste bins for these fucking masks and gloves that you want us all to fucking wear. (laughs) You know? Come on. If it's that deadly, why isn't it being treated as like a super deadly thing, right? Right. I mean, really? You get They're a lie. They fell short, dude. They didn't sell it hard enough for me. No, well, see, the thing is, if they it sold was, it hard enough for the majority of people, but right, it, but but uh, the thing is, and as I've seen on many a meme, if this was a real pandemic, uh, yes, we we would not need to be told it and sold it. Uh, right. Well, it, it would be evident. It would be everywhere. Yeah, yeah, but, it would be everywhere. People yeah. would be. You would see people collapsing in the street and dropping dead. Well, whether you saw that or whatever, or, yeah, or, or turn into a zombie. What you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, whether you saw that or not, you would at least personally know somebody that it happened to. Well, I know people that tested positive for it, but they weren't hospitalized from it. Well, no, because they the te- had a positive COVID test. Yeah, that's but, all they. I know. That's yeah. all they knew. They weren't really actually sick. And if they were, it wasn't COVID. But but, but the tests are bogus too. Right. So, so you can't a, trust the numbers. A, a, you can't trust the test. You can't. A positive COVID test means absolutely nothing if it's a bogus test. Right. Right. Exactly. If it's a false positive or whatever. Yeah. Well, you know. So. If if there's no virus, then they're all false positives. <laughs> so, right, right, and, <laughs> and we don't know for sure whether or not it is a real virus. Uh, we don't, well, we don't know. I mean, you know, we've been told oh time and time again, oh no, it's real. But then when you look yeah. at the, you look at the actual tests, they never actually proved. Uh, I mean, the uh, they, they they never isolated the virus. They've never isolated it. So, right. So it can't. And now they're going. Oh, there's variants now. Right. Oh, yeah, all kinds of variants. And the vaccine, quote-unquote vaccine, doesn't, you know, take into consideration those variants. It's like, get over it already. Come on. <laughs> or some do. And they do that with the flu, too. They did that with the flu shot. Well, it's for mo- some of the strains of flu. Right. But we don't know which one strain's going to get here. But take this shot anyway. Just in case one of the strains that it covers, it comes along. Exactly. It's like, uh, I think I'll take my chances, thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, you know, because uh, even if it were real, using some of their later numbers, not the earlier numbers where they were trying to scare the hell out of you. But, right. But but but, but uh, some of their later numbers uh, where, where they showed that, okay, well, the survivability of this virus um, is 99.993%. Meaning only point zero 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 seven are actually going to have a problem. Uh, I mean, that are that are going to die from it. And those people that die are mostly like uh, seventy five plus, uh, right? Or they had severely other severe other severe complications, underlying conditions. Yeah, that, that they, they 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 could have died from anyway. Um, so, <laughs> it, it, yeah, oh. the mask thing. I just it. Uh... Well, all of it, all this, yeah, all, all, all this of it. nonsense, it's just... uh, and that's just, and that's just the, the the biggest latest thing: the destruction of all the companies, uh, the ending of so many people's jobs. 
uh, the, the going after the uh, folks that, that aren't believers or uh, speak out against uh, the virus or the, or the vaccinations or the, you know, you know providing alternate methods of, of fixing your body, your health, you know, like vitamin D. Who was the guy that was talking about that recently and, and they're shutting his ass down? Because, no, you can't have no vitamin right. Vitamin D is bad. Uh, no, and they didn't say it was bad, but basically they right. said, you know, you're, you're spreading bad news. You're yeah, whatever. Fake news. Um, uh, to, to now this, you know, the COVID passes, because that's, that's now being pushed. Uh, right. And, and will become a reality. Uh, I hope not. Well, I, I already heard it is in a lot of places over in Europe and now in Canada, of course, in, in well, in, any any of the Queen's territories, um, you know, so Australia, New Zealand, uh, Ireland, Scotland, uh, all, all those. Um, <laughs> so, so, oh, my God. So, and, and maybe it won't be for everything, but it'll be for most things. Um you know, like if you want to go to a concert. Right. Where's your Kobe pass? Uh, oh. Yeah, well, I'll have to forge one. Right. Well, I'm sure there'll be plenty of uh, fakes out there available. Um, Black market for the fucking Kobe pass. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, really? Because I'm not doing it. It's my body. It's my choice. I don't want your shit in me. I, I can't even imagine it. You know, going to the FEMA thing and getting a shot. Like, fuck you. Right, right. You know, come on. I know. And, and then, you know, people look at, like, I don't want people to ask me if I got a shot or not. Okay? Because if I did or didn't, it's, none of, it's nobody's business but mine. Oh, no, you need, you need to be loud. No, it's not yeah. even the government's business. They can fuck off. Yeah, yeah, you need to be loud and proud about getting the shot. You got to post your... You're shot up there on your social media and say, "Look at me, aren't I great? I got my um my my my, <laughs> my shot. I did my part. I'm, do, I'm doing my. Yay me! Now give me a heart, a thumbs up, or a like, or a you know gold star. I'm so great. I went and got the shot. It's like <laughs> really? Yeah, virtue. Are you gonna signal. be Are you gonna be singing that song five years from now? Vir- virtue signaling when you yeah, have fucked the, up uh... shit because you got that. Oh, well. You know? It'll be applied to, it'll be uh, because of some new unknown virus that came along. It, it right. Won't, it won't be because of the shot. No, they'll wait 50, 70 years to release that finding, like they did with the polio thing. Right. Oh, guess what? What? Back in the day, when most of the people that got the goddamn thing are dead already. Yeah. You know, oh, thanks a lot for uh, giving my relative cancer from your fucking polio shot. And they used the same tactics back then as they do now. It's now no different. Right. It's no different. The signages that they put up, the commercial, or, you know, back then they didn't have TV, but, or whenever it was, you know, any of these vaccines, they do the same thing. Yeah. Same with voting and joining up for the military, right? We want you. Yeah, well, you know, Clyde, Clyde, Do uh, your part for freedom. Right, right, yeah. A lot, a lot of very 1984 stuff. Um, right. Peace through unity, unity through peace. or, uh, or Yeah. Un- unity through, uh, peace through unity, unity Everyone has through to do their part. Acceptance or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. A- anyway, yeah. Um, let, let's wrap it up here. Um, okay. I think, I think we've... Uh, Covered existentialism. Yeah, that was kind of a boring subject. Actually. To a, to a very small degree, we we've covered existentialism to a very small right. degree, but right. I, I think it's a good thing for people to look into and and uh, try and you know uh, see are they uh, do they fit into that that ideology or do, do they fit into to something else? Uh, you know, like like you right. said, uh, you're, you're more uh, along the realist thing and. Um, Right. And and I am not. <laughs> uh, well, you kind of are, I think. Well, well I, I am and I'm not. Okay. Um, right. Like, like I said, with a lot of these different, different uh, philosophies that are out there, some of it... Right, so, and we all have more than one. You can't just say, I'm only this. Yeah. You know I, what I mean? I, I, you, you, yeah. Even, even if it's a philosophy you created yourself, right. you, you probably cover a wider expanse uh, than, than 
than than what it is you you decided is this is this is my way of thinking. So, um, right. Anyway, <laughs> thanks everybody. Yeah. Thanks, thanks everyone, everyone for tuning in. We'll be back next Wednesday, Thursday, um, Thursday <laughs> at same bat time, okay. same bat channel. Uh, yep. t- tomorrow you got Vincent Easley uh, with American Dissonance at 1 p.m. noon, noon Eastern, 1 p.m. I Eastern, think One, so, yes. 1 p.m. Eastern. Um, okay, uh, so tune in for that. Uh, I, I don't know what his topic's going to be, but check it out. On Saturday is the Redneck Dentist at 5 Eastern uh, with, uh, what's his show called? The Redneck Dentist. Okay, it's just called the Redneck Dentist. Noon Central, 1 Eastern, okay. Yeah. Um, don't give me that Central crap, man. Uh, and then on <laughs> Sunday, is I'll be playing Blues in the morning, uh, for starting at noon Eastern. Then comes Hal at 3 Eastern, and Gary L. and Gigi's Boo at 5 Eastern. So that, that's a good day of broadcasting. Check the schedule over there on RealLibertyMedia.com for the rest. Uh, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not high. I wish I, I, I should. I, will. <laughs> I, I don't generally get high until late in the evening, but... Um, <laughs> that's another topic that doesn't need to be yes. discussed here. Um, <laughs> oh man! All, all right, right you all. Talk to y'all later. Yep. Peace. Peace.